Long shot candidate Dan Osborne hits the road in his race against Senator Deb Fischer. Good evening, I'm Julie Cornell. The independent candidate held nine town halls this weekend. KETV Newswatch 7's Alex McLoon is live downtown with his message to voters. Alex. Yeah, Julie, Dan Osborne rounding out his weekend with a town hall here at the Backline Comedy Theater downtown after Senator Deb Vischer declined to debate at all last month. Thank you, West Point. This is, this is, uh, it's good to be back. In West Point, an independent blue-collar mechanic is looking to take out a two-term senator. Dan Osborne is pitching himself in each congressional district across Nebraska and leaving an open seat for his opponent, Senator Deb Fischer. People deserve to know where we stand on issues, and then people deserve to see how we interact with each other, too. You know, So, uh, you know, we're still hosting debates, and the, and the invitation is always open. The Navy veteran and union president enticing Democrats, independents, and Republicans by telling his life story, pitching his platform, and answering questions from voters. Janice is a longtime Omaha resident now living in West Point, and she says she's selling her friends on the independent. What is it about Dan that has won your vote? Well, first of all, he's a military man. He knows about the service. Billy is an Army veteran who says his stomach turned when former President Donald Trump endorsed Deb Fisher. Why would you support a man that called all the suckers and losers? Polls from each candidate's campaign paint a drastically different race. One commissioned by Osborne says the two are tied at 42 percent, each with 16 percent undecided, while Fisher's campaign says she's up 26 points. Debating is as old as apple pie and baseball in politics. One of 34 Senate seats are up for grabs, and this is another race in a flyover state attracting national attention. In a statement Sunday, a spokesperson says Senator Fisher believes her time is best spent meeting with Nebraskans to solve problems, as she will continue to do throughout this fall. Osborne will be at UNL and Lincoln in an effort to reach young voters tomorrow. Our debate on KETV, our, our town hall rather, is October 6th. Send us your questions by clicking this story at KETV.com. Live downtown, Alex McLoon, KETV Newswatch 7.